Hi, in this demo, we're going to be showing how to migrate your data from AWS S3 into Microsoft's latest service, Azure NetApp Files. To do so on screen, what you can see is on the right hand side, I have my AWS environment. I have a sample S3 bucket with a few directories and a few uh, objects in there. And on the left hand side, I have my Azure NetApp files service, um, which I've already gone and provisioned an NFS mount within my environment. So you can see here it's called Azure NetApp files NFS. So to get started, we're going to be using a tool created by NetApp called CloudSync. And CloudSync is very easy to use. Um, it's an entire service that deals with not just migration, but also the synchronization of data as well. And to get there, very simple, visit cloudsync.netapp.com. One important note is that CloudSync can sync any of these data sources um, and, and a variety of data destinations as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be NetApp at all. So this is a universal service. So in this case, um, as I said earlier, we're going to be moving AWS S3 into Azure NetApp files. So to do so on screen, you can see I'm just clicking the appropriate source and destination. Um, one other thing to note is down the bottom here, you'll see there's API documentation. Um, very easy for if you want to offer this out as a service or as a catalog item to your business um, or perhaps your customers, then you can see the API is Swagger, Swagger documented um, uh, and it's very easy then to perform automation and scripting around it. So with that in mind, let's just progress to the next step of the, uh, uh, of the tool, which will be creating the relationship. Now, there's a concept of a broker. You can see here, I need a broker that is no more than a virtual machine that has accessibility, IP accessibility to the source and the destination. So you can see here, it will be used as a mediator between the S3 bucket and Azure NetApp files. I chose in this instance to deploy a data broker in S3 um, because the tool comes with a handy wizard that automatically makes sure that I have the correct IAM um, permissions um, uh, and it makes it very easy, no more than four minutes of a CloudFormation template deployment to go and deploy this broker. So as this is already set up, I will pick that and the tool will effectively go and look in my whole environment, see what AWS S3 buckets I have available. Uh, here we go. And you can see I have 44 buckets. There's this one here that I've set up for this tool, uh, one migration. So if I tick that, and hit continue. I'll then be asked for information on my Azure NetApp files. So to go and do that, we'll no more than uh, adding the correct IP address. So just to confirm uh, that this is indeed my IP address um, for this, I can see here 172.2.2.0.4. Yeah, correct. So from there, I hit continue, and what it will do is now have a look into um, my my mount at that particular um, IP address. It can see that I have an Azure NetApp files directory called Azure NetApp files NFS, and that is correct. That's where I would like my AWS S3 um, objects to be translated into NFS files. So we hit continue, and we get this handy little summary showing us what I've effectively just gone and done in the tool. So we have S3 to NFS in Azure using Azure's latest service, Azure NetApp files. And we also have this concept of a broker that's been deployed for us. So let's create this relationship. And this tool will then go and talk to the uh, data broker. It talks over secure HTTPS to, to that broker. Uh, all operations are, um, are, are SSL uh, encrypted in terms of management plane. Um, and you can see here that this uh, synchronization relationship is now ongoing. Okay, so at this stage, we can see that the relationship is now completed. The synchronization is completed. So let's progress to the dashboard.
and here you can see all the relevant information about that relationship. So what was the source, the target, what broker was used, um, do I have a schedule? So one important thing to, to note, one important feature from CloudSync is that it can perform the regular synchronization of your data uh, on a schedule. Do, did I use any tagging? Did I use any custom settings? Um, and also here we can see that the sync was successful. It took four minutes. Uh, in those four minutes, we were able to move 1.32 gigabytes of, of test data that I put in the bucket. All my files were successful. There wasn't anything that was deleted or failed. Um, so very good, clear information about how that synchronization went. I can force a synchronization on demand. I can also change the schedule. If we go into the schedule, you can see that I have the granularity of minutes, hours, and days available for the schedule. So the final thing for us to check is that our files did indeed make it over from the S3 bucket into the NFS mount in Azure, so Azure NetApp files. So I've just opened up a connection to a Unix host that is in my Azure VNet. I've mounted the Azure NetApp files file uh, mount. And if we just do an ls minus l, there you go. There's the files all moved. You can see side by side, my directories and my files have been moved across into Azure NetApp files. So there you go. That was a live demonstration of how to migrate AWS S3 data into Azure NetApp files. 